Hi, Judy from Witch Peace Craft. Welcome to Sunday, the 30th of July, my week that was. Um, I haven't got a lot to show you. I'm still not 100%, but I'm getting there. I'm about 85 to 90% better. And yes, it took a while for my um, crafting mojo to come back. However, I do have some things to show you, so let's get started. First of all, I am doing um, Setter's Calendar Cow and making a tea cosy each month. In July this month, the photo was of Gary from Urban Yarn, and um, it was a beautiful photo, but unfortunately, because I want to use my yarn stock, I didn't have a lot of those colours that I could sort of get my head around to put into a project. However, Gary is a former Australian expat, who lives in Canada with his husband and it put my thinking cap on Gary what would he be missing from Australia so I made my tea cozy and of course he would be missing Vegemite I made a Vegemite tea cozy knitted it's a knitted tea cozy so I made it in um, Stylecraft special DK for the colors and the actual pattern, I've made it before and I'm still trying to perfect it. It is a graph that um, Reeves did for me last year. I think maybe like doing it in 8-ply, it doesn't sort of show the Vegemite off real well. But um, if I could get some decent colours in a 4-weight, I wouldn't mind giving that a go. So there you go. In honour of Gary at Urban Yarn for Zeta's July Calendar Cow, my Vegemite Tea Cozy. So that's my first finished object. Then for other cows, I have been catching up, especially today. Uh, it was a little bit overcast and Thing and I weren't feeling great. So we decided we'd watch a James Bond movie. Um, Thing's a big fan of James Bond and we hadn't seen Spectre. And we watched Spectre. And during that, I finished off my July Tunisian stitch um, square. I put the border on. I haven't blocked them yet. This one, won't be a moment. I need to pause it. Back again. Need the glasses. The that was the June, sorry. The June one is the double crochet stitch. So that was my June square I finally finished that I hadn't shown you before. Needs blocking, it's a bit out of shape at the moment. And then I finished July, which is the reverse crochet stitch, which I didn't mind this. It does curl a bit. It's curling less now there's a border on it, but it will need to be blocked. Um, the beauty of learning all these um, Tunisian crochet stitches, um, hopefully next year I'll be able to do a Tunisian type tea cozy with one or two of the stitches there's a few I do like so this is um, with Jada in stitches her monthly Tunisian crochet square so I have now caught up while watching Spectre which I didn't mind like I'm not a real big fan of James Bond but I actually didn't mind that movie it was quite long so that is finished objects for cows number two number three well Every market I sell a lot of tea towels with crochet toppers and I think I got cleaned out last month and although I'm not planning to do a market stall till October I decided to start building up my stock again so I did a tea towel topper this is a kitty cat one with tea towel I've just got to put a button on it and fasten it up I did get asked for some really shorter tea towel ones see it folds in on itself so I've decided I'll do a few shorter ones to start with. And rather than spend days making them, I'll do them when I'm in the mood and build up for my stock in October again. But yeah, quite like the kitty cat one. I've got another one of these I can do. So they are my three finished objects. I have been doing very little on my big knitting projects mainly because it requires a lot of concentration and I still have brain fog. For example, yesterday, Saturday the 29th, I thought the Settlers Museum south of Cairns was having their yearly display 
and during the week I even changed my hairdressing appointment which was supposed to be Saturday morning because thing was going to drive me down and we were going to have a look. It's about an hour away and there's a lot of traffic. So we got up early and we got ready and then I said to him, I'll just check what time it starts and finishes. And lo and behold, I had the wrong day. It's next Saturday, the 6th of August. So now I've got to ring my hairdresser and see if I can get another appointment and change next Saturday's appointment. I do need my hair done next week because I have a big meeting for work on Sunday the 7th. The one big meeting a year I have and I do look to, like to look quite presentable. So hopefully Jamie can fit me in. Sorry, I am a little breathless because I still have the chest infection from COVID and um, it affects my stamina and breathing. So when I talk a lot, I become breathless. Wait a minute, obviously that didn't come up on screen. That was an 8.30 alarm for me to take medication. So that's where I'm at with my knitting projects. They've been put on hold, but I will get them finished eventually and share them with you. So what else was I doing? Well, during the week, because I only did work light duties about it. I worked about two o'clock every day and came home early and had big naps. And then in the night time, I would watch and catch up on some podcasts and videos. One in particular, I'd like to give a shout out to now. I have to read this because it's quite a mouthful and I always get it wrong. Shout out goes to two OGs hooking and stitching style, stitching island style with Antoinette. Please check her out. She has reached 1K and she will be celebrating a pot anniversary on the 13th of August. I think that's when she's planning to go live and do lots of fun and games. Antoinette, I was her first, like I was her hundredth subscriber, and she sent me a beautiful gift from Hobie. She introduced me some Hobie yarn, and it had in there my little unicorn unicorn pot that I keep little trinkets in, like stitch markers, up on the back here. So yes, please check out Antoinette at Two OGs Hooking and Stitching Island Style. All the links will be in the description below for you to check out and congratulate her on reaching 1K and her pot anniversary. She is really sweet. She's also celebrating a new job, which is great. I think she will be really happy in her new job. So that's my shout out for this video. What else have I got? I don't have a lot for you, like I said. Um, I decided today too, before we watch the movie, I would sort through my cotton um, stock yarn because I have quite a bit. And I don't really work with cotton a lot because it makes my hands sore, but I've sorted through it. And I've decided next week I'm going to do some easy projects um, probably crochet that I don't have to concentrate on too hard maybe some tutorials where someone tells me what to do so I don't have to think too hard and hopefully I will use some of my cotton stock and reduce some of that because the idea is to reduce my stock so they're my plans for next week after you know I'll have a busy week with work getting ready for the meeting my boss has been great because I'm still not 100% like I said and they have been doing a lot of stuff on the side to help me out. Um, what else is there? Da -dum -da -dum. That's about it guys. What have you been working on? What are your plans for next week? Do you have any um, new projects you're starting you'd like to share with us? Please leave a comment below. It's always great to get the comments and hear what people are up to. It does inspire me to do other things. I was watching Alex from My Yarny Corner showing her socks and it got me thinking I should have another go and try my second pair of socks, maybe with a different heel. Who knows? When I'm a lot better and I can concentrate, um, yeah, I am very vague. It's really uh, unnerving and I'm hoping it changes soon. And the other thing I've got, which apparently is quite common, a few people have commented here, 
is most things taste really bitter. I am, my sense of taste has gone haywire. Um, it is getting better. It was really bad earlier this week, but it's not too bad at the moment. Another lady I know said to me that everything she tastes is salty. So, yeah, it is just one of those side effects you get from having COVID. Anyway, guys, um, yeah, what else? Nothing really. Oh, tomorrow I'll be back with another video for Rock 2022 AU and the first album in August. We've got about 16 pictures posted at the moment. So there's still time to post your pictures or email me your pictures for Rock 2022 for June, July, July, sorry. Don't forget, there is a participant's prize draw for each month, a $25 gift voucher or some sort of arrangement. And this month is a bonus draw of a pattern prize from Ravelry to celebrate Christmas in July. So make sure you post a picture or send me a picture to be eligible to enter. And leave a comment under the last video because that's where I'll use the random YouTube comment picker to pick our pattern prize winner. So that's it. Stay well, stay safe, take care of yourself and make sure you have a crafty day for your mental health this week. Bye for now.